Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to the final episode of Hokkaido Gals Are Super Adorable. Yes, I know, it, it's now officially Wednesday. I was supposed to do this yesterday when I got home, but even on a Tuesday, like just like a Monday, and then I think also because of what is now my life right now and how I am currently feeling, I am extremely, once again, exhausted but not as exhausted as i was on monday monday i was like i want to freaking die today or really yesterday i was like I i'm exhausted but i'm not but i knew something you know how like when you you know like hey the gears and such and you're like i mm, something's not clicking and i'm like i think this is happening because of this well yeah yeah that happened and so mm. Even though I have all this energy at like 1.54 a.m. <laughs> I, I, I am like so freaking tired. But it's Wednesday and today is really the only day I have off and I have a lot to do and I'm like kind of, I'm not stressed, kind of. I'm a little anxious, I'll say that. But I am super excited to see how this ended and what is going to happen with our little couple if they're going to get together by the end of this probably not but that is okay if they don't even though i want them to so other than that let's go ahead and get started with the final episode in three two one go my freaking notes This is the fact that we're going to be, we're hearing this for like the last time. It, it's sad, but it's still reassuring at the same time because it's like, yes, like listen to this song one more time before the show's over, but still. I want chocolate. I'll get chocolate after that. Yeah. Do I want ice cream or do I want um cookies and cream kisses? Probably ice cream. Mm hmm <laughs> Yeah, definitely out of this. Rewatching old seasons of Amazing Grace and eating some ice cream. Well, looks like you're stuck together for the night. <laughs> How long is that drive wise? An hour? I'll come get you tomorrow. <laughs> See, dad is the wingman. I love it. Right, he had to. Yeah. 
Alter, zwei. Mm. Well, not that it's time for sleepover, babe. <laughs> Can we just say once again, this is the best date ever. Like, literally, this last episode and this episode, oh my god. Sure. It's not going to be awkward. Is there like a TV in there that so that you guys could just watch TV together? <laughs> There's no TV in there? Uh, wait, no, there was. Relax, Subasa. It's okay. Don't look at the shower in the room. I'm going to enjoy this baby. <laughs> He's so cute though, oh my god. Yes, watch TV. Oh <laughs> Yeah, I wonder. You gotta tell her how you feel before this is over. Okay, I don't like the fact that she left in the middle of the night. That is messed up. Mm -mm. Hmm? Oh, we're finally seeing these two. Every single freaking week, and they're in the opening, and we're finally, last episode,
Mm-hmm. Is he here? He's got to be upset. Yeah. Oh. He's got to see Fuyuki again, at least. Jesus. Like, okay. We're nine minutes in. He has to. You're right about that. Going to work hard towards something too. No, oh, babe. Mm -hmm. Okay, somebody has to text Subasa. Thank you. Oh my god. You gotta go. Like, number one, I don't think him waking up, like, broke his heart. I just think, yeah. You have to force yourself to go. If that's not a sign.
scared. Watch him yell her name. Bye. The where I found you. Goodbye. Oh my god. You're just leaving for two weeks? But we thought it would be like a year or something. That's just them saying I love you, you to each other, and I freaking love it. Oh. No. Okay, so final thoughts on this last episode and this series overall. This was a cute show. Once again, just as much as I am a sucker for the villainous isekai, I am a sucker for anything Garu specifically, and then also anything Garu romance also. But I am loving like these last, I think, two or three seasons where we've had the Garu falling in love with the non-typical guy that she would really go out with. And it is setting the norm of, yeah, like, you can pretty much be falling in love with anyone. It's very much how, if I can say from, like, um, what it used to be like when I was a kid growing up watching television and stuff for, you know, American networks specifically, I could say maybe, like, ABC or right now I could, the other one that I'm instantly thinking of is the CW and, of course, the the situation of the CW and that. But 
at the time when I was in middle school, maybe like early elementary going into middle school, um, there was this one show called Beauty and the Geek, and it was a reality TV show dating competition and such, where it was like, of course... Nerdy guys trying to go out with girls who are, like, so far out of their league. But in the end, some of them really made it work. And so it gives feels to that and such. Or it's kind of, Hold on, we're not done. Is she going to literally pop up at the end? Tsubasa. <laughs> the fact that he bought her food But yeah, going back to my conversation, it's also very much not only like Beauty and the Geek, it is very similar to, I could, you can kind of say like The Bachelor or Bachelorette in the same thing, because like, uh, you know, women my age is the biggest thing that we all sit and freaking talk about. Like, <laughs> I cannot believe I'm about to talk about this myself. I, I spent like, what, like two, three years, four years, four years watching Bachelor Bachelorette, and then I stopped and such. Mainly due to the nice old conversation I had with my mother, but sometimes I still watch it because it's like, you know how, like, you have those guilty pleasure comfort shows and such? Like, number one, my number, or my big, big comfort show for competition shows is The Amazing Race. I can rewatch that, like, it's nothing. Like, I just started the new season, like, about, like, two hours ago and such because... I've been so busy with everything else, and it just literally started airing on TV and such, but due to my freaking cable box not fucking working, I use streaming services and shit. Um, but I I'm so happy that it's now back in my life, because that is my bread and butter. I love the shit out of it, besides, like, my love for anime and shit. Um, but seriously, like, this show was just so freaking cute. What, Like I said, once again, with these last few seasons of Garu's getting together with the non-typical guy that they would go for is, like, my guilty pleasure for it. And it's just super adorable. So I'm really excited to see, like, what is in store next for these two. It does make me wonder because, like, officially, in my opinion, they are together as of this. They are the canonized couple. They're going to get together by the end of this and such, whether it's like this or we're continuing manga-wise. I would love to see a second season 
there is a possibility. I mean, as of now, I really don't know manga-wise where this is. I don't know if this is an anime-only ending or something, but there would I would love to see something for this. I think the cast of this, they all did phenomenally well. Especially, I gotta give props to Fuyuki Seiyu because the, that girl and, and everything she's done in the last, like, two freaking years. Like, the, the girl has been doing ish. Like, she's been carrying that weight on her back. But not in a bad way, in a good freaking way. Because, I mean, like, that's the same thing of going, her going from Uraraka to freaking, well, no, let, let's go all the way from, like, my other personal favorite role. Her being in um, Is the Order of Rabbit as Kokola, and then getting her, like, still one of many iconic roles that she is known for, aka Uraraka and My Hero, even though I think, well, myself, I stopped watching My Hero. To go from that to so many other things, and then to go into, like, the last season, several parts of Attack on Titan, the final season, and then to go to other bigger and better things. Like, girl, is she, she getting her coin, and I know she is enjoying that, and I am so proud of her and how she did. I think the guy who played Tsubasa, he was a really, whoever his seiyuu is, whether he is someone who was big um, and known, or he's just up and coming, he's done a really good job. I would love to see these two in something that is similar to this, where either they are playing, like, a couple again, or something where it's like opposites of track or something. I think that would be very interesting. Um, everybody else in this was good too. I just hate the fact that we're done with this. I really do because I want more like dead ass. I need like season two or just like an OVA or something. Make me happy. I, I mean, hell, my happy marriage, I just recently found out, I think like Saturday or Sunday, that got an OVA and I still got to watch that. So yeah. But no, this was so freaking good, and I will miss it, like, dearly. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the entirety of Hokkaido Gals are super adorable. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next week, I believe. Yes, um, for the start of spring anime or really just anything else in the nutshell. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.